While we were hiking around in the Florida sand hills searching for some snakes, we came across a small ringneck snake, a fairly common species in this region. Oh, ringneck! Here we go. Oh, come here, dude. Came flying out of there. Have a look at that. Little tiny southern ringneck snake. I figured since we filmed them before, I'd do a really quick segment for another video, then just keep moving. But what I didn't realize was what was on top of the piece of bark this snake was under. And this is what he was under. So you get back under here. Boop. Oh my goodness! Have a look at this! Don't back up! I'm sorry, buddy, I'm gonna have to take you home. That's a bark scorpion. Holy smokes! Hang on, little ring neck. Uh, here, go, go in this piece of bark. How did I not see that? Holy smokes! I didn't even see that! Can you believe it? Ooh, look at him! This here is a hence striped scorpion, one of the very few scorpion species found in the state of Florida. Their light coloration makes them really difficult to spot, and their sting is a bit worse than that of your average wasp or bee sting, but wouldn't typically be considered dangerous. Have a look at that! That's my first Florida scorpion! Ah! He's going everywhere! Oh my goodness. Well, this is one of the very few scorpion species here in Florida. These are a venomous arachnid. He's got a little tail up there and he will whack his prey. He's got little claws like a crab so he can hold on to it and he'll whack it and venomate it. And he will whack me if I'm not careful. I've never seen one of these little guys before. Or I should say I've never caught one. I actually missed one years ago, but he was so camouflaged. Can you believe that? He was so, so camel. Ooh, he's not happy. I gotta watch that tail. He gets very, very upset with me. Very easily. He's an arach... Uh, this is an arachnid, meaning they've got four sets of legs. And he's got a tail. Not all arachnids have tails. They're very similar to a little land crab, those little pinchers. And they'll be hunting little bugs and stuff like that. This is actually perfect habitat for scorpions and Florida bark centipedes. Now they're most known for their venom, and one like this, taking a sting off of one like this would probably be a little bit worse than a bee sting. This isn't a dangerous species, however, never go and pick up a scorpion if you don't know what kind it is. And I'm actually now fairly experienced with handling scorpions. A few years ago, I was actually very under practice with scorpions, and now I'm very good with them. In fact, I've had practice with a very similar species back in Louisiana, but not this one specifically. He is awesome. These scorpions are actually pretty separated, their range, from other scorpion species. So it's really cool to get to see one of these little guys here in Florida. Very special little bug, very special little arachnid. And you'll see he's trying to get to shade. He's not actually like scared of me. He's really just not liking being in the sunlight. These guys are mostly nocturnal. They come out to eat, Ugh, I don't want him going under me. They mostly come out at night to feed on little insects and stuff. Ugh, don't like that. See, look, notice how he's just trying to get under my hand. See, look. He's not trying to sting me. He just wants cover. So, I think we're gonna go ahead and actually give him, ugh, give him back his cover. That is insane. Did not see him until I was putting that ring neck back. Awesome stuff. Alrighty. Back on your tree, bud. Oh, he's stuck. Where you go? Okay, he's on this. It makes my life easier. Here we go. And back on you, little thing. Come on. Go. Go, buddy. Don't sting me. Go. There he goes. That is awesome. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. We really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing. And go check out our video we did with scorpions a while back in Arizona. We will see you guys next time.